So you say you want a simple, inexpensive data collection system that uses machine learning algorithms to automatically baseline your motors, pumps, compressors, and other devices? Oh yeah, Banner's got you covered. We can even send that information to the cloud and send you a text or email if any thresholds are exceeded. Okay, let me show you how we do it. This is our DXM controller. It collects all your data and sends that information to the cloud or to a host device. The node and the vibration sensor connect and work together as a portable, easy to install data collection system. Here we're showing you the proper way to connect the vibration and temperature sensor to a motor. Notice the X axis of the sensor and the shaft should be parallel with each other as shown. An easy way to remember this is to make sure that the vibration sensor's LEDs are pointing in the same direction as the shaft as shown. Mount the sensor horizontally so that the Z axis points towards the shaft. So now I'm going to show you how to bind the controller to the wireless node. First, put the controller in the bind mode by scrolling down to ISM radio. Press enter. Then scroll down to binding. Press enter again. You'll notice a flashing one. This is telling you that the controller will bind with node one. Press enter. Now we're gonna bind the Q45 wireless node to the controller. First, power up the unit by holding down the power button until the amber LED turns on. Next, we're gonna click the same button three times. This will put the node in the binding mode. When the red and green LED flashes four times, that tells you that the node bound to the controller. Now, once this happens, the node will automatically go back to the run mode. So now we wanna check the signal strength between the node and the controller. I'm gonna go back to the controller, back out of the binding mode, then scroll down the site survey and press enter. Again, it's gonna flash one. This is telling you that you're about to do a site survey with node one, press enter. The system will send out 100 signals, then show the strength of each signal. Once this is done, make sure you back out of the site survey mode by clicking the back button. Here's an example of our system reading the normal vibration level of a motor it's attached to. Our machine learning algorithm automatically sets warning and alarm thresholds based off of these values. Here, the warning threshold is exceeded. Now this is similar to your check engine light coming on in your car. The car still runs, but it's letting you know that there's something going on with the engine and you should schedule some time to get it looked at. Same thing here, the motor is still running but you want to schedule some downtime to get it looked at before the problem gets worse. Here, the alarm threshold has been exceeded. Now this is a more serious problem. This is equivalent to your car losing all of its oil. The engine may be running for now, but it won't be long before there's a catastrophic failure. Well, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.